guys, E here with another Daily E. So, I was listening to this really great sermon, and the pastor got to a point where um, he talked about nine key things to help millionaires be successful. So, I wanted to go over that with you. So, the next coming Daily E's, get ready, because it's going to be about the success series. And basically, keys that millionaires use to get to their level and stay up there and keys that we can all learn and glean from so the first one was honestly waking up three hours earlier than the regular person so if you're waking up at eight most millionaires they're waking up at five some are waking up at three you know it just gives you a jump on the world because if you get to the spot first then that means that you will be able to you know create your idea you'll be able to you know be ahead of the game you know they say the early bird catches the worm well that's why millionaires are you know there they already so successful like for example i've heard eric thomas say many times that he wakes up at three in the morning to start his day and i've checked because sometimes i you know may slip up and i might stay up late when i wake up at three o'clock to actually check and he's actually up at three sometimes he's posting on instagram at 2 30 sometimes at three o'clock sometimes a little bit before that but he's up he's creating he's working it's just it's really respectable because it's like if you're up that early if you're already you focused on your passion and doing what you love from that time then by the time it's eight o'clock you've already got five hours in i mean it's it's crazy i mean i've heard like richard branson for example i hear that he wakes up really early and he you know he exercises you know he gets his mind active and that's another topic altogether so honestly that can tie into every aspect of life if you love what you do start before the next guy start before everyone else and just follow it you know when i was back in college i used to do 3d modeling and the way how i got really great at it was that i started three not three hours before i started like two three months before everyone else started so when it was day one of class for me i was already on like day 40. So while people were learning to 3D model, like true story, people were starting to 3D model like weights and just the cylinder. I was already working on P51D Mustangs fighting JU87 Stuka dive bombers in the sky. Like I was, you know, next level. I was always, every time someone was on A, I was on G. I was on E, I was on F. Cause I always wanted to be ahead of the curve. So keep that mentality always wanting to be on what's next loving what you do but always being ahead of the game being around the corner that's why samsung keeps being at the forefront of innovation that's why a lot of businesses are successful because they look at what's out there they look at what's not there they look at you know the questions that people have because as someone says i remember somewhere along the lines of if you know what you're doing you will always have a job, but if you know why you do it, you'll always be the boss of that person. So it's always like, if you understand why, if you have a solution mentality, you will always be successful. If you have a question mentality, you create or cause problems and issues, you'll always be under. You know, it's crazy. I mean, I was even listening to Derek Thomas again, and he was like, you know, you shouldn't really question or wonder why the problems or the pain hits you, because at the end of the day, why not you? The fact of the matter is, in solving the problem, you will become wealthy. So sometimes, problems, pain, issue, they're a blessing. So if you can wake up early enough to focus on the solution, you'll be ahead of the game. You'll be able to always be prepared because it's always about, even if you want to be number one, always working like you're number two. Putting in, like he says many times, not just 100, keeping it 120. And then 140 and then 160 going beyond what your limits are always rising above always going beyond what's expected so if they wake up at five then you know it goes to show that well, that's why they're successful so when it comes to your dream comes to your job comes to whatever you do always give it that effort that rash that passion that focus that puts you ahead of the curve that you're always, like in chess, you're always a step ahead because you work so much more because you woke up early. And the fact of the matter is that it's always great to wake up early because even if you add like a biblical context, like David woke up at 5 a.m. to pray in the morning. He was a king, you know, he was successful while he lived. 
He was able to do many things that people in his time were not able to do. I mean, even when I think about it from that same category from um, before, where the nine success traits come from, they mentioned that when those five those millionaires wake up early in the morning, three hours earlier, waking up at 5 a.m., they're doing it to tackle life problems. They're doing it to tackle issues, the main problems of the day. They're being strategic in what they want to do because even Eric Thomas says, the, your success is in the DNA of your routine. So have a routine, stick to it, work with it. It's not easy. But if it was easy, everybody would do it. That's E here with another daily E. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, check back because there's going to be a lot more throughout this week. Take care and God bless.